Hello, this is Tina. How are you doing? Uh, this video, we're going to follow um, pre previous video. We're going to refactor our add to shopping cart, the code a little bit. So we don't don't repeat ourselves. OK, so in our code, which is this part and this part and this part if we add the, the by default the total price is gonna be zero so here we can also add plus add here you want to affect the result right so you can see on those if else condition this part this part this part is what is uh, duplicated and uh, we can do is after everything is done we do this one so what we're gonna do is for this part we move out and we comment this one and we comment this one you know okay we comment this one okay so because it's the price gonna be changed eventually right and another two part I, uh, I duplicated which is this part and this part right it's duplicate and uh, let's take a look at the condition here the only difference is we just need to, to check if the shopping cart is none okay then um we initialize other uh, the other part is exactly same right so we can do is here are the condition if the card we give the default value is equals none right okay and if it's not, we will do this step. Okay. Let me think about it. Okay. Oh, we cannot put it here because if we put here now, and uh, let's think about it. If we put it here now, quantity, but if we don't add this condition. It won't go inside uh, here. So here we don't using an else. Mm, let me think about it. Okay. We will do. Uh, how can I refactor this part? If the shopping cart is equal now, we just do, we initialize. Okay. We initialize it, right? And then, okay. And then this part is not needed, right? Got, got it? Because, pre, because if I put it here, it won't, it will never, if I remove this part, it never go inside. So this case is not being taken care of. So now what we, what I did is, if the card is now, I will initialize it, right? I will initialize it. So it will always be not now, okay? So then it will go inside, go inside. So it only has one case, it exists or not exist. So I can remove the entire thing about here. And I can remove the entire thing about here. So do it like this. Okay. So the shopping cart will never be now. Now. Uh, but uh, at the beginning, everything is empty as uh, zero. And uh, if it is existing, right? If it is existing, then I just uh, change the quantity and uh, change the pro uh, that price eventually. And uh, if not exist, I just uh, change add a product quantity, then push in, right? So that's it for this one. Okay. So we can remove these two. And after we are done refactoring, after we are done refactoring, okay, let's do a test. See if everything is uh, wor is working or not. Okay, so we terminal is ready. Our terminal. Let's go to the this place. Add the three product as we did before. Price turn uh, ten. Okay, image URL description QQ, and uh, add a product 
another one uh, another one is a react right okay using 20 and the image url sam qq okay and add another one which is the angular uh, 30 and the image url this one qq okay so now let's add one two three so we should expect we have uh, three items in the product okay let's take a look at it, the last one okay we have uh, node react and angular okay and uh, quantity is all of them is one and uh, the what's the the number 10 20 30 should be 60 so it's it's correct right so now let's go back and add node okay add uh, angular okay again and check go back check so now you can see uh now the last one right now the node is become two okay and i didn't click on react so it's one and the angular now become two and the price let's check so here is a 20 20 plus 20 40 40 plus 60 right so 100 we can add one more okay like uh, the angular okay so here angular uh, node node sorry add node three one and a two so everything is uh, correct now but our code become like uh, shorter or more uh, concise now right no duplicate code now here so that's it for add to shopping cart and uh, next one we can go yes actually to display the items in the shopping cart into our page okay thank you for watching this video see you bye bye